So do you wish you could get a Ravens away game in? Yes. Well, there's one company that is making that happen for fans, and that's where we find Marty this morning. Marty, break this down for us. Well, it's, it's a very simple story, Meg and Tim. Again, good morning, and good morning, everyone. How are you? Um, Blake Short, Colby Gibson, a couple super fans. You guys are friends. You decide to start visiting NFL stadiums. When was your eureka moment that you realized we should turn this into a business? Yeah, so really about four years ago, went to Atlanta. And, of course, you know, Ravens fans travel pretty well. But we felt like we've been building this and doing it ourselves for so long. There wasn't really an outlet for Ravens fans to go to to pre-plan some of these trips and put together something special for them to take off some of the stress of traveling. So I would say right about 2018 in Atlanta. Wow, and how many trips have you done so far? Uh, about 14 for me total. Yeah. yeah, 14. I would say I'm about 15 or 16 myself at this point. And you, you, you mean people come to your website, they choose games. It's a lot easier to let somebody else plan a vacation, to be honest with you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the other part is, too, when you're trying to travel and do something unique like this, it's nice to have the experience of having other Ravens fans with you in a group pattern to where when you're on the road, you're not maybe as nervous about other fans because you're with a group. And, and it's not like, look, you know, it's not like you go, I've been on the road. It's not like you go in another stadium and people are out for blood. But every once in a while, somebody overindulges and gets a little loud. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And it's just comfortable to have, you know, a group go as opposed to trying to plan a trip by yourself. And Ravens fans travel well. You can hear that, oh, and we've, we've got video of, of the team. They listen for it. You know, here's Harv smiling. Here's Lamar breaking out into a big grin. They know somebody's got their back. Yeah, it's one of my favorite parts about Baltimore and that tradition where, you know, when you're in a road environment and you hear that, oh, you get a really good feel for the surrounding. We've only got about 30 seconds. Do you think uh, the opposing fans understand the O, or do they think sometimes they look at you like what kind of disrespect was that and I'm like we wrote the song it's ours possessions nine tenths of the law yeah both we've seen both we've seen fans understand it we also see fans take offense to it so yeah definitely it's the same way you know it depends on the environment gotcha and this and this purple Friday being with these guys fly with the flock it's very timely because we are on the road this week back up to the Meadowlands MetLife Stadium play the surprising 4-1 and one New York Giants. It'll be a heck of a football game. Yeah, definitely. We're looking forward to it. The Giants have really showed up well this season, and uh, it'll be very interesting to be against Wink again. All right, listen, we've got to take a break. When we come right back, we'll talk more about your business and other businesses that are riding the tail feathers of the Baltimore Ravens, and it's not a bad thing at all. Back to you. All right, Marty, thank you. Looking forward to it. So if you can't make it to the game on Sunday, you can see the Ravens face off against the Giants in New Jersey, right here in WG. That's in New Jersey. What yes, is that? I don't know. Where that. is I that? I think it's just a Friday, and talking is tricky sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Kickoff is at 1 o'clock, and still to come on WJZ at 9.